when ancient Israel would go in and they would go into the Holy of Holies and they would uh, take on the vestments of the priests, they would walk inside and they would have that uh, bells that are on the bottom of their, their uh, it looks like a little like a dress, I guess, but it wasn't a dress. They would walk inside with those bells on and you could hear that jingle as they went inside. It, it tells about this in Scripture in Exodus uh, 28. It says there, and beneath upon the hem of it, those uh, gowns they would wear, thou shalt make pomegranates of blue and of purple and of scarlet round about the hem thereof, and bales of gold between them round about. A golden bale and pomegranate, a golden bale and pomegranate upon the hem of the robe round about. So there's these pomegranates, then a bale, then a pomegranate, then a bale. And then it says, and it shall be upon Aaron, to minister when he goes in to do his priestly duties. And his sound shall be heard when he goeth in unto the holy place before the Lord. And when he cometh out, why it says that he die not. And there's a lot of different ideas about why those bells were on him when he would go into the Holy of Holies, what they had to do with him not dying. Uh, I think it's kind of silly. Uh, the intellectual view, the thing that they put out and a lot of these commentaries, the idea that uh, he had these bells on because when he walked in, he might startle God and God kill him. Now think about that for a minute. Does anybody ever startle God? Has anybody ever snuck up on God? I think not. And I, I think that's kind of a silly reason why the bells were there. Another reason, it's kind of a traditional story, and uh, there's some truth in this. It happened, uh, it's said to have happened during the time Jesus walked the earth and they go in the temple. They tie a rope around the leg of the man, uh, the high priest, and he would walk in, and if they quit hearing the bells, they'd know that he had done something wrong and God struck him dead inside. So they couldn't go in, so they would pull him back out by the rope. And that's an old traditional story. Now, I don't know how much truth is in all of that, uh, but I do know this. Uh, the idea I think this was uh, where the bells were there not so that you don't startle God, not so the people outside would hear whether or not the bells had quit, but I believe the idea was to keep the priest from getting distracted. It's real easy when you're doing God's work or you're studying God's Word or you're, you're doing the ministry to get distracted by everything else going on around you, right? And the idea was if he got distracted, he wouldn't have his whole attention on God and what he was supposed to be doing. And God might strike him dead for that. Why? Because what's the first commandment? You put God before everything else, right? Before everything else. So those bells were just a little ringing to remind you what you're doing, why you're in here, what's going on. We need to be wary of letting any distractions take us away from God's work. Distractions are very easy to come upon us, you know. We get distracted and worried about this is happening, that's happening, that's going on, when all we really need to do is focus our eyes on God and let Him lead us. Right? Right? Because that's what we need to be about, keeping our eyes and our mind on what we're doing for our Lord. I hope you're enjoying the sermons here and have subscribed to my channel on YouTube, but I would love even more to meet with you in person at the church where I'm blessed to pastor at in White Pine, Tennessee, Omega Baptist Church.